Okay, I wanted to take a look at Emmanuel Supa, the running back that's going to be transferred from Rice. Uh, a couple of thoughts. Number one, he's coming from the university where the current BYU running backs coach was. So probably already has an in with him, would be my guess, uh, which gives you a huge advantage. Number two, Rice was terrible last year. And a lot of it had to do with how bad their offensive line was. This is their game against Houston. I, I, what I did is I, I just grabbed a bunch of cuts from this Houston game. So this is Rice versus Houston. And you'll see that they run Emmanuel Supa up the middle mostly. Um, at least they did in the Houston game. I, I really only have time to watch one game of his, but I did watch this Houston game and I've grabbed a bunch of cuts. Um, he, he had a decent game against Houston, had a really nice breakaway run of about 50 yards. He ended up with about 80 yards uh, on 17 carries, I think it was. And you'll see most of his carries are going to be just right up between the tackles. Um, and you're also going to see his offensive line for the most part gets wrecked. So he's got some power up the middle. Uh, you know, look right here. You got an offensive lineman not blocking one on the ground. You got five or six offensive linemen on one guy here on the backside. And then you've got a super just trying to make plays back there. And, <laughs> and so at times he just couldn't succeed because he just didn't have any help. Um, I also put some, uh, images of him on to show you him in blitz pickup. So you see he sits Sits pretty heavy, gets himself up the line of scrimmage, drops his head a bit, uh, and he's able to pick up the blitz there, stops him at the line. I like that. Nice blitz pickup. That sack wasn't his fault. Uh, you're going to see just a nice little pitch, but this isn't a pitch to the outside. This is just a, a pitch just right off tackle. Uh, you know, I, I don't think he trusts his speed. You see that he's got an outside... Uh, leverage point. I, I know coaches want him to go north south, so maybe he just sees what coaches want. Went north south. Uh, um, maybe a, a running back with more speed tries to hit the corner. I, I don't know. But again, he's he's more of a power back than he is a speed back. At least against Houston, here he is again, right up the middle. Um, I've got a cut of his long run here in just a second. Again, in, in pass pickup, you know, well done. Sees this guy. He does pretty good in pass sets, set in pockets. I've actually been pretty impressed with how he's been set in pockets. Um, right here, gets caught up in traffic. Again, offensive line pushed back behind the line of scrimmage for the most part. Rice was terrible. I mean, it's just not a good team. Again, another blitz pickup right there by Asupa. All right, let's see. I tried to put these cuts together to kind of show. This is his longer run. So pretty decent vision right there. Um, finally gets a decent hole, and he's going to hit it to the outside. And that's pretty good speed to finally get to the outside and, and get it up the sideline. He, um, so he played in eight games last year. He's going to have one year left. He played in eight games last year for a Rice team that was really terrible. Um, really fizzled out, started strong, had a couple hundred game performances, started strong, and then really fizzled out to where it was like 10, 15 yards a game. And eventually, he didn't play in that LSU game to kind of end the season. The, the final three games, he didn't play in. So, I don't know if he got beat out. I, I don't know if it was an injury. I don't know what happened. But he really trailed off near the end of the season. But I did see some things that I like from him. Here's the, here's the thing. He knows the coach. A.J. Stewart was the Rice coach, so you're probably going to see this kid get real opportunities um, to show what he's got. And you know, I, I don't, I don't mind that. I mean, it's, I, I do want the best running back to play. 
Gets bounced off the pickup here a little bit, but ball's gone. At least he put a hat on a hat. Fine that Rice finally put together a decent play right there. And then this is the this is the change out running back. This is the running back that they started bringing in for him, who was a senior and is graduating. So I don't know the exact cause of of no sorry that's a supa. Um, I don't know the exact cause of why he's transferred. This is his change up right here. This this guy ended up leading in in rushing for a, a few games and but anyways. That's Emmanuel Esupa.